Hello there my good friends of YouTube. Um, today I've just recently, uh, well today should I say, not recently, today I've got this um, package. It's a neon um, transformer. It's not an ordinary neon transformer Transformer like this one here. Okay, There's no um, two coils, a primary and a secondary, and well there's actually a primary and there's two secondaries. As um, This is a 10 kV, so there'll be 5000 volts here, then the other primary, and then there'll be a 5000 volts coil here. So two coils, primary. This one is an inverter type. Okay, It's actually quite light. It weighs probably half a pound of sugar, if that. Yeah, probably a little bit less than half a pound. Okay, and this is the import, 240 volts. It's from America, by the way, but it's still 240 volts import because I believe that some appliances in America are 240 volts. And the output of this, okay, is uh, 10,000 volts. It does actually have a dimmer switch, so it's actually dimmable just here. This is the on and off pull cord. A bit crap, actually. I'm not too keen on that. It makes it look a bit crappy. But um, it's so that the, basically the, the people can put it on the wall and uh, switch it on and off by the pull cord like any other light switch. So, uh, you know, you turn on the neon signs. But it's not a bad little inverter type um, transformer, to be honest with you. Um, you know, I get uh, 5,000 volts out of this, uh, 10,000 volts, sorry, out of these two cables just here. So uh, I'll give you a demonstration and let you see what it's like. It's going to be hard to do this switching it on and as well as getting an arc. So, hold on, guys, I mean, this is going to be hard to do. The thing is, though, every time it's arced out, it resets itself. Let's see if I can do that again. Turn this light off. Yard. I need to do what uh, high voltage projects did and make a, make um, a tripod for my camera. Oh, let me see if I can do it again. It's not bad actually, is it? So now I'll dim it down and see what the output's like then. I've dimmed it right, I've, I've, I've turned the unit right down. See, when it's right down I can do it as many times as I want without it tripping out. It's like when it turns off, I can get on there as well. Right, let's see if I can do this with the camera. It's very hard to do. Pretty cool, eh? Not even getting warm. So that's the arcs on an inverter style neon sign transformer. Okay, now I'm going to show the arcs on a bigger one, on a bigger one, on a traditional transformer. If I can get this without causing any problems, without switching it on, very hard to do things with one bloody hand. Right, you stay there. Okay. 
Now this is what the arcs look like on an analog transformer. See the arcs are quite big for a tenth. I mean this the milliamps on that sorry are twenty-six milliamps, the one on that one. On this one it's 50 to 65 milliamps. So as you know, the muscle, the, the voltage, okay, gives you the length. And the amps give you the thickness, the thickness of the arc. Of course, there's... A little bit more length of this one because it's. Uh, I don't believe that is actually 10,000 volts. It says 4.0 E 4.0, so I think that is actually an 8 kV um, neon sign transformer. So uh, I think they sent me the wrong ones. The wrong one, should I say? It's really hot. Awesome. <clears throat> Still smoking. <laughs> so there you go, guys. I wanted to share that with you. As you know, I do like my high voltage transformers. So now you're asking the question of how much was it? It was actually 22 UK pounds. That was £10 shipping and £12 for the unit off eBay. So get on there, guys, and get one of these because they're pretty good to mess around with. And it's a good thing. I, like, I do like the variable um, voltage um, potentiometer just there. This is a bit gay. I don't like this very much. I might get rid of that and just put a normal switch on the side of it. But yeah, I do like that. Evertron Neon Power Supply. Um, trying to think. Well, you know, see if we can get a nice close-up of that label for you. There you go. How's that? So I think this is an eight. Four, th four kV out of each wire. So there you go, guys. Thanks ever so much for watching. Look after yourselves. If you're uh, new to my channel videos, please subscribe. Subscribe to me. And uh, please give the old thumbs up, guys. <clears throat> and uh, thanks very much, guys. You're all awesome. Great to have some awesome friends out there. And uh, yeah, it's been a while since I put myself on the old camera, so I just thought I'd say hi. And this still, I am still waiting for my mineral oil. And then I can take out these things because I've had to put a load of things in there to bring the level up a little bit. So, uh, God, as soon as I've took that top off, I can seriously smell the mineral oil. But I'm waiting for me 25 uh, litres of mineral oil, and I still haven't got it yet. It's supposed to come yesterday. It's supposed to come today. And uh, I'm hoping it will come tomorrow with it being Friday. But, yeah, once it comes, I can take out that um, old ceramic um, pieces. I've got a ceramic piece there, ceramic piece there ceramic piece there and a ceramic piece there to bring the level of oil up so I could vacuum this thing to make sure I get all the um, air out of that transformer when I did a vacuum so I need me insulation guys where is it it's driving me nuts so anyway guys oh yeah that's the the outputs just there the input sorry that's me inputs just there with some I've um, put some mode and that strong putty stuff in that milliput just there just to cover these terminals up so that I don't get no leakages of oil when I, f when I fill it right up because I'm going to fill it to just above that line there so it's looking good guys once I've got that up I can get a video on the net and show you get show you it running thanks for watching guys look after yourselves be safe speak again